Hello and welcome to this podcast. The purpose of this podcast is to look at a travel allowance and show you how we do the calculation of the taxable portion of a travel allowance. Now to remind you, a travel allowance is given to you or an employee by an employer if he is required to travel for business purposes. So the whole calculation of a travel allowance is to go and only tax the portion of the allowance that was used for private purposes. So you will see when we look at the calculation that speaks to it. So the first thing that you're going to go and do is you're going to go and calculate the actual travel allowance. Now this will usually be given to you as a few thousand rand per month. So you need to go and just multiply it with the number of months that you actually received the travel allowance. And from that we're going to go and deduct the business use. So if we take the full travel allowance and we deduct the business use of the travel allowance, we are left with the private portion of the travel allowance, which is the taxable portion of the travel allowance. Now the big challenge is to go and calculate this business use. And to calculate this business use, we use the business kilometers and we multiply it with the greater of the deemed cost per kilometer or the actual cost per kilometer, whichever is the biggest. So we have three elements that we need to go and calculate. We need to go and calculate the business kilometers, the actual cost per kilometer, and then the deemed cost per kilometer. So we're going to quickly go and look at each of these elements and how we calculate it. So the first one is the business kilometers. Now in a question usually a total kilometers and private kilometers is given to you. Now remember your total kilometers less any private kilometers equals your business kilometers and it can also be the other way around. Total kilometers less business equals private kilometers. Your next step is you need to go and calculate your actual cost per kilometer. Now remember it says actual cost per kilometer. Now usually the actual cost is given to you as the cost for the year. The cost that you can include is your field licensing, insurance fees, maintenance costs, wear and tear, and finance charges. Wear and tear is the cost of a car, including VAT, excluding finance charges, divided by 7. However, the cost of the car is to a maximum of 560,000 Rand. The same goes for finance charges. Finance charges can be included for a maximum value of a car of 560,000 Rand. Otherwise, we need to go and apportion the finance charges for a maximum value on the cost of the car of 560,000 Rand. Now if you add all of these costs together you get a total cost but we don't want a total cost we want a actual cost per kilometer therefore we add it together and then we divide by the total number of kilometers to get to the actual cost per kilometer and the total number of kilometers you will see in step one where we take the total kilometers and then we do some calculations to it to get to the business kilometers. The next step is you go and calculate your deemed cost per kilometer. Now the deemed cost per kilometer you can find on the deemed cost table and there you will see there is a fixed cost, a fuel cost and a maintenance cost. Now if you look at the table you will see that the fixed cost is a total rank for a full year of assessment for a period of 12 months and the fuel cost and the maintenance cost is a cost per kilometer. Now what we calculate in three is a deemed cost per kilometer. So the fuel cost and the maintenance cost is already as I wanted. It's given to you as cents per kilometer. However, the fixed cost is for a full year of assessment um, and for all travel. Therefore, we need to go and adjust it. And we adjust it by dividing it by the total number of kilometers, which we will show you in an example. Let's go do the example quickly. Stefan is required to travel for work purposes. He received a travel allowance of 2,000 Rand per month for the full year of assessment, so he received it for 12 months on his Suzuki Jimny, which he purchased for 220,000 Rand, excluding VAT. Now remember, we need to make it including VAT, excluding finance charges. He kept an accurate logbook of distances travelled and his logbook indicated that he travelled a total of 25,000 kilometres, of which 12,000 kilometres was for private purposes. He also kept record of actual expenses he incurred, so therefore you will have actual expenses. Now remember, sometimes um, he did not, the person might not keep record of the actual expenses, and then you don't go and calculate step number two, where you calculate actual cost per kilometer, then you only use the deemed cost. But in this scenario, luckily, we kept record of actual expenses, and therefore we go and calculate it. You go and calculate Stephen's taxable tra travel allowance for the 2016 year of assessment. So let's go do it in the steps. So the first thing is we need the travel allowance. And they told us that the travel allowance is 2,000 Rand per month. So we're going to go out and multiply it with 12 because you received it for the full year of assessment. Then from that we need to go and deduct our business use. And the business use is the 
business kilometers multiplied with the greater of the deemed cost or the actual cost. So we have three elements. The first element is your business kilometers. So let's go calculate the business kilometers. They gave us the total kilometers has been 25,000. They told us that private kilometers was 12,000 and therefore the business would be 13,000 kilometers. The next step is to go and calculate our actual cost per kilometer. Now remember, if a question doesn't give you the actual cost, then you skip the step, then you don't do it at all. But they did give us actual cost. So we're going to go and add them all together. They told us maintenance was 4,500, the fuel was 13,000, and the licensing fees was 500. The wear and tear is, is never given to you in a question, and that you need to go and calculate. For that calculation, we need the cost of the car, including VAT. So you will see we took the 220,000 rand and we multiplied it by 1.14 to get to the cost, including VAT. That we divide by seven years, and that is the wear and tear charge. Now remember, if your wear and tear is based on the cost of the car of more than 560,000 rand, your wear and tear is only 560,000 rand divided by seven. The same applies with finance charges. The actual cost per kilometer, you take the total cost now and you divide it by the total number of kilometers to get to the cost per kilometer. Remember, the 53 is for all travel for the full year of assessment. So, the actual cost per kilometer, you need to go and divide it by the total number of kilometers to get to a cost per kilometer. The next step is to go and calculate your deemed cost per kilometer. So the first thing is we still need the cost of the vehicle because we need to go and decide on the tax table in which category does the, the car fall, so what would be the deemed cost. So if you go and look in the tax table, you will see there's a fixed cost of 84,945. However, this fixed cost of 84,000 Rand is not a cost per kilometer. Therefore, we need to go and translate it to a cost per kilometer and then we divide it by the total number of kilometers. So you will see we take 84,945 and divide by 25,000 kilometers to get to a deemed cost per kilometer. The maintenance cost and the fuel cost is given to you as a cents per kilometer and therefore you will see that your total deemed cost comes to 486,6. So now we have our three elements. We have our, our business kilometers, we have our actual cost per kilometer, and we have our deemed cost per kilometer. So therefore we can go and calculate our taxable portion of our travel allowance. So the travel allowance is 24,000 Rand. For the business use, we use the greater of the deemed cost or the actual cost. The greater of the two was the deemed cost, and we multiply it with business kilometers. Now remember, if we quickly go back, you'll see your deemed cost is 486,6. Your actual cost was 215.32, so the deemed cost is higher. If we go check quickly, our business kilometers is 13,000 Rand. So we use 13,000, we multiply it with our deemed cost per kilometer of 486,6 because it's the greater to get to our business use. And you will see our business use is 63,258. Now you'll see my taxable portion of my travel allowance is zero because you can never tax a negative amount. You can't tax the income which is negative. Remember the purpose was to go and calculate the taxable portion of the travel allowance for private purposes. And if the full travel allowance was used for business use, then you can't calculate any private portion because there is no private portion. I hope this podcast helps you with the calculation of travel allowance. Be certain not to confuse a travel allowance with the use of a motor vehicle fringe benefit. Bye-bye.